Hello and welcome back to the Riot Inverse Report. It's been about a month since I last made a video, but there really hasn't been much news to talk about. Last week, though, The Hollywood Reporter released an interview with Rick Riordan talking about his books and the Percy Jackson adaptation, during which Rick defended Leah Sava Jeffries. I'll get into that article as well as a few other small things in this video. In response to why there hasn't been any news about the Percy Jackson show, Becky Riordan said on Twitter, Wondering why we can't share more about the Percy Jackson series? Besides not wanting to spoil the whole show for you by our 2024 streaming date, there is a YGA strike and impending SAG after strike as well. Support the writers and actors trying to make a living. And in this time, while Rick couldn't update us about the show, he did share that he has been signing pages for The Chalice of the Gods, the sixth Percy Jackson book. He said on Instagram, Is it possible to sign 17,500 title pages in one weekend? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just finished seven boxes like this. Took three solid days. The signature pages will be bound into copies of Percy Jackson and the Chalice of the Gods when they are printed. The book will be out September 26th, and yeah, sadly, that really is what my signature looks like. Now on to the interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Rick shared that when deciding to do the adaptation, Rick chose to be a producer on it for the fans, saying, We were hesitant about doing that. I hadn't had the best experience before. It's not an industry I know or that I ever honestly wanted to be a part of. It's not something that I ever dreamed about, becoming a producer. I'm perfectly happy writing books. But I knew that fans of the books really, really wanted a good adaptation, another try. So it was really for them. This is seriously so special to hear. When asked if there was a particular element from the books that he wanted to make sure was part of the adaptation, Rick said, One thing that we all agreed on was that we should do everything we could to preserve what makes Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson. That's a combination of modern-day setting, classical mythology, action, and humor. One of the ways that that manifested is making sure that we found actors who were an age that was appropriate for the way Percy is at the beginning of the books, so that viewers could watch Percy, Walker Scobell, and Annabeth, Leah Sava Jeffries, and Grover, Aryan Samhadri, grow up on the screen, the way that you read about them growing up from age 12 to 16 in the books. I'm certainly gratified that we did it that way, because the young actors that we found are fantastic. And I agree with Rick that it really is important to have age-appropriate actors for the roles because the story really is one of growing up, and there were so many fans who grew up with these characters. And I think they found the perfect actors for these roles, just as they intended. Rick was then asked about how he stood up for Leah after the backlash to her casting. He had made a post on his blog back when that happened, defending her, and in this article he went into that a little more, adding, For Leah, she should not have to deal with that. She should be allowed to practice her profession and her art, and to be recognized as a talented actor who got a part because she merited getting the part, without dealing with this speculation of, it was only this, or it was only that. It was a quota, it was wokeness, whatever, blah blah blah. That didn't sit well with me. I am first and foremost always a teacher, and that was a teachable moment. That was a moment that I needed to say, okay, hold on, let's examine this, and let's examine what you're saying and why you're saying it. Racism, I believe, is not something we have or don't have. That's the wrong conversation. I think we're all prone to that. I mean, to believe anything else is to ignore the entirety of human civilization. Racism, colorism, it's always been with us. So it's not helpful for us to say, oh, I'm not racist. Of course we are. What the question really is, is do we recognize it? And do we work on it? Or do we deny it? Those are the choices. That's the conversation I was trying to frame. This is clearly not a valid thing to attack a young girl who worked very hard and was cast out of hundreds of other young actresses that we looked at because she was so good at embodying the soul, 
the personality of that character. She shouldn't have to deal with that. And I want her to know that I stand behind her 100%. The entire team of the Percy Jackson series stands behind her unconditionally. Rick said it so well. Leah really did not deserve the backlash she got and the claims that she is just cast to meet a quota or something. She earned her role. She beat out every other person who auditioned for that role. And remember, thousands and thousands did because it was an open call. And she was the best because she embodied the personality and spirit of Annabeth best. I'm so glad Rick took the time to say this and continues to publicly defend her and support her. If you want to read more from the article, I'll leave the link in the description. In the time since I've been gone, we passed the three-year anniversary of the announcement of the Disney Plus adaptation of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the one-year anniversary of when I started this channel, and the one-year anniversary of the start of filming for the Percy Jackson show. I want to thank all of you who have supported me and this channel this past year. It means the world. I never would have imagined I'd be at almost 10,000 subscribers in such a short amount of time. I love this little community we have formed, and I love seeing your comments every video. Can't wait to see where we are at in a year from now. Hopefully, we'll have already seen season one of Percy Jackson. Also in the time I've been gone, Rick and Becky Riordan had their birth anniversary last week. If you didn't know, they were born on the same day, June 5th, and they then got married on that day as well, so it's a very special day for them. Also, I just want to say happy birthday to my fellow Geminis. And that's all I have to talk about today. I know, a short video after being gone for so long, but as I've said, there isn't really much to discuss. That will eventually change, don't worry, and as soon as we get updates, I'll be back to talk about them. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. With that being said, this has been the Riordanverse Report. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you with the next wave of news. Bye!